Hey everyone, it's me, Nick, and I'm back on the YT with a hair tutorial. So I'll mostly be uploading tutorials on Tuesdays or Thursdays, so just keep it locked, you guys. I'll be uploading a lot more as well, so yeah, just stay tuned. So you can see me here just starting off with like a little small area of my hair. Use a rubber band to secure like a little small, um, I can't even call it a pony. It already looks like animal ears. I don't know. You can even rock it like that, but I didn't. So moving right along, what you would do is take your hair and twist it. I just cracked my finger. Anyways, and wrap your locks around that little created pony. So I'm just doing the other side right here. And after that is done, what you want to do is take probably two to three locks and wrap it around the base of that bun. To me, it kind of adds um, a neat look to it, I guess. Of course, you tuck in those ends because they do like to escape. So once that is done, what you would do is take two locks under, or should I say at the side, under the bun and bring it over to the other side and secure it with a pin. That one, that one you can see looks more like a bear ear. The one on the left. It was looking more like a cat ear, but I was trying to like just fix it up. You have to work with it, you guys. Just work with it and it will come out to how you want it to look. Because of course, bare ears are more round. And one thing, you don't want to put too much hair when you first start off with this style. Because it will make your buns really big and you kind of want them to be just a nice size. Not tiny, but small enough. This is when I did the bare ear again. You can see it's looking more round. I think I added a bit more locks into that one. Anyways, that's it for the bear. So on to the cat ears. It's the same technique, except you just, um, you know, cat ears are more pointy at the tip. So I was trying to get that pointy tip going on. And you just work it. Like I said, just work it. But there you have it. Your cat and bear ears that you can rock anytime you want to. This is the last one. You probably have seen this one on YouTube already. Um, but for those of you who haven't seen it, well, you're in luck. So you take a pipe cleaner. I had three in my hand, just for the other side, of course. You use one and you attach it to one lock. After that, you simply just plait your hair as you normally would. I didn't necessarily go all the way down. I stopped at a certain point and use my lock ends to make a knot. Once that is done, you just flip your hair over you kind of bring some down so you can get that side form correctly. And you take your pin, secure that end first. You create your tip. You take your second pin and you pin the top.
I was just playing around y'all okay? like I said I was really feeling the hairstyle and that's it that's it for this tutorial I hope you did enjoy it don't forget to thumbs up and share and subscribe thank you so much for watching you all I'll see you in the next video don't forget to check out my latest video my nine-year lock journey bye